Welcome to this demonstration of our field manager solution. This solution works with Bitrix24 CRM and provides advanced control over who can see data inside your CRM. Administrators can create permissions by individual user, workgroup, department or division and we can use these permissions on modules such as leads, deals, contacts, companies, quotes and invoices. Fields can be made to be hidden or shown, assigned read or write permissions and made mandatory or required. In addition, for Bitrix24 enterprise customers, this solution makes it possible to create full separation inside the CRM. Uh, so if you want to manage multiple businesses inside one system, then this solution will allow you to do that. Okay, I'll show you how this application allows you to firstly use roles to manage fields based on user permissions. Secondly, use conditions to manage fields based on the content of related fields. And thirdly, create multiple CRM systems. Let's have a look to start with then at managing fields based on user permissions. On our screen, we have a couple of roles already set up. What I want to show is how we can hide a field based on a uh, hide a field to a full a full department. So we have a department here called IT team and we have a rule set up. Let's click into this rule and let's just edit this rule. So we want to deny access to this contract date field for this particular department. Let's click save and if I open up the uh, a lead within our, inside our CRM and logging in as this first user we can see the contract date field at the bottom. Let's switch to our second user who is a member of the IT team and uh, if we scroll down then we can see that that field is not visible for that particular user. Going back let's just change that rule. We want to see if it's possible to make that field mandatory if you're a member of that particular department. So let's save that. And uh, we'll go back in to this user here. And what we want to do, let's give it a refresh. What we want to do is just remove this field and try and save that. And it doesn't allow us to save it we do need to populate that field with a date. So that's a couple of examples of being able to manage fields uh, by individual user or team. So we'll look at how we can manage uh, the content of a field based on the content of, of another field. So what we want to do, going back into our field manager solution, we have a, another role here set up for all the all employees and we have two rules enabled. We want to hide a field if an industry type matches a specific a specific uh, type. So we have this set up here. Let me just click in to show you this. So permission is going to be de denied to this subscription type field and as well as having a standard rule, we have a condition as well. Click into the condition, then we can see that the condition is industry equals finance. So if, you're, if the industry is specified as finance, then we won't have access to this particular field. When you click into this to show you, then you can create any types of conditions that you want to, provided you know a little bit of PHP code. So let's go into our lead again. We can see that in our lead, the industry here is, is chemical and we can see our subscription type below it. Let's change that to finance and save. Uh, if we give this a refresh now, then you can see that the subs subscription type field has now, uh, has now disappeared from our page. 
Let's go back in and have a look at another example. So what we want to see now is making a field mandatory if the value of another field exceeds a certain exceeds a certain amount. So let's click into this, have a look at this one. So what we're saying here is the field is going to be required. This is the field that's going to be required, the contract date. And if we come out and go into our condition, we can see that the condition is that the opportunity has a value of greater than 1,000. If we click and edit that, you can see that that's pulled from this, this li these lines of code here. Going back into our, our CRM record, let's give it a refresh again. We we can see that the value of this is $500 and the contract date is populated, but let's just take that out and I'm able to save that without a contract date. Let's change the value of this lead to above 1000 and save that. It doesn't let us save that now unless we've got the contract date completed. So I'm going to put a contract date in, save again, and the record saves. Finally, let's look at how you can create full separation for your CRMs from one division to another. So this would be if you wanted to run uh, multiple businesses under one system, um, but have those, those CRMs completely separate. So click back into this particular rule and you can see at the bottom here we have specified the individual instances that are available on on this site and we can choose to select whichever we want of these particular instances we can see that the, the, the sites on the right hand side here and this rule and this condition will now just apply to this individual site so by using this particular feature, we can build up separation within our CRM and allow you to have multiple CRMs within one system.